Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. Thanks for joining me today and I hope the information I'm about to share with you is going to help you, especially if you've been chasing your tail trying to figure out how to get consistent fuel pressure in your vehicle. The bane of my existence with this entire build has probably been this right here. And this is a, the old fuel pressure gauge, which I've actually replaced. I had this one on there for a while and I replaced it with a similar one. And these are liquid filled gauges. I'm talking about liquid filled filled gauges in particular. And these guys here, well, I'm going to tell you right now, they're junk. Don't buy them. And this is your problem. So if you're trying to chase fuel pressure, this is your problem. Yesterday I had a conversation with the people at Aeromotive. They build fuel systems and they've been doing it for a long time and they know what the frick they're talking about. In fact, they have written an article about this and also built a special gauge to combat this problem. So why is this gauge filled with fluid? Well, as the engine runs, it vibrates and they fill it with this glycerin in order to uh, keep the reading consistent so the needle doesn't bounce around as it vibrates around. It seems like a really good idea, but that's the very thing that makes this gauge not accurate. And as I said, I, I talked to uh, the people at Aeromotive yesterday. In fact, I started talking to them and they just sort of cut me off and said, okay, go to this place on our website and read this and then put me on hold. <laughs> that's how much they deal with this. And the issue in particular is, uh, so this is what's a scenario that's been happening with the Ford. With mine, what seems to happen is it starts out with high fuel pressure, but then I take it out and drive it and come back and the fuel pressure will actually drop as far as the reading is concerned. But I look at the float levels in the carburetor and everything looks pretty much the same as it did before I left. So once again, it's just not reading accurately. It's all over the place, dependent upon temperature. If you don't have consistent fuel pressure going to a carburetor or fuel injection, it doesn't matter. If you don't have consistent fuel pressure, you're done. You're never gonna be able to deliver fuel to that engine properly and it's gonna be mad at you in one way, shape, or form. And hopefully it doesn't get so mad it destroys itself. What happens, the glycerin inside of this mechanical gauge heats up and as it does it interferes with the mechanism that allows this thing to work so you're getting readings all over the all over the place your gauge is not accurate i suspected this this is why i changed mine and i was still getting these issues but now after talking to the people at aeromotive now i know why my fuel pressure has been inconsistent this whole time i'm going to put a link in the description to the article that i mentioned that uh, goes more in depth on how these gauges operate and why they don't operate correctly under these conditions and the gauge that uh, uh, Aeromotive has come up with to prevent this issue. I hope that this video is able to help you if you've been chasing a fuel pressure problem on your vehicle and you just you're at your wits end because I know how that feels trust me. Once again links in the description to stuff. I'm also going to pull a link in the description to ericthecarguy.com which is where I ask you go if you have automotive questions. Please don't forget to like comment subscribe do those things that help me make a living. I really appreciate that. I did you a favor please do me one. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.